Hey guys, Nick Drossos. Dr. Andrew Steinberg. And welcome to another episode of Have the Balls to Talk About It. Have the Balls to Talk About It. Today we're not talking about balls, Andrew. We're talking about pain, prostate pain. Well, painful orgasm. Jacket. Yeah, painful orgasm, painful ejaculation. Um, I, you know, I've I, never heard of that. <laughs> Like, oh, spend a day in my office, you'll see a For lot real? of it. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's uh, it's a common thing, and it's not one thing; it's different thing. That's what I want to talk about a little bit today. When you should get checked out, you know, when you should look into it, uh, when you should be worried. So, uh, you know, there's basically two things which could be affected typically, or you know, including the bladder. Let's say a three thing is is um, when you have ejaculation or orgasm. Um, it is the pelvic floor because you have okay. a squeezing of all the pel and you know it's a whole diaphragm of muscles and the prostate okay squeezing 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 and that's what expels the liquid out uh you know you get some contraction of the bladder and and, and passage of fluid through the urethra so these, these are where things can cause pain now uh the commonest thing i would think about is either chronic prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain syndrome uh, those are, are things we've talked about in the past, but briefly, chronic prostatitis is a chronic low-grade infection of the prostate, and symptoms are painful ejaculation. Sometimes there's difficulty to pee. Uh, there's pain in the perineum between the testicle and your anus. Uh, sometimes there's pain above the bladder in the groins. I mean, pain anywhere in the area, painful ejaculation are, are the so, common so, symptoms. So it's related, so you'd also get the same effect when you're peeing? Uh, no, not necessarily. Okay. Some men do get burning when they pee. Okay. Some men don't. Okay. So it's it, these both chronic prostatitis and chronic pelvic pain syndrome, and I go back and forth uh, because they're v almost identical symptoms. Uh, are are really any pain in this area? Testicular pain, uh, perineal pain, penis pain, pain at the tip of the penis, painful ejaculation. So they all. Any of those or all of those can be, you know, could be part of the symptoms described. Now, the difference between the two is chronic prostatitis is a low-grade infection, and you need six weeks of antibiotics typically because it's really hard for antibiotics to penetrate the prostate. Okay. Uh, it's very hard to diagnose because it's not like a urine infection or bladder infection where you just pee in the cup and you know you can't well. Uh, culture of the prostate it's a solid organ there is some liquid so sometimes I do I get men to come in a bottle and we do a, a oh. sperm culture oh, wow. okay. and sometimes we do so uh, you'll uh, detect it through the sperm sometimes yeah, yeah. Uh, and sometimes we do a, like a 45 second vigorous massage of the prostate which is quite uncomfortable and then get them to catch the urine Oof. a couple of first little drops of urine to culture that post post prostatic massage culture uh, but they're not very accurate, and so sometimes, based on the symptoms, we just treat it on spec. Um, and chronic pelvic pain syndrome basically has the same symptoms, the same cluster of symptoms, but there's no infection. And it's it, again, it's so hard to to to, die, to see which one is is which. Uh, chronic prostatitis can be regular urinary tract infection type bacteria like E. coli. It can also be sexually transmitted disease like chlamydia, gonorrhea, urea plasma. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you do are, are suspecting any of that, uh, you know, you should get it checked out. Uh, chronic pelvic pain syndrome is, you know, I've had patients who've been treated antibiotics and antibiotics mm -hmm. six weeks, and that doesn't work another six weeks. So at one point, someone's got to say, well, this isn't bacterial. Let's treat the pelvic floor muscles, mm -hmm. physiotherapy, relaxation, warm bath, stuff like that. Uh, so those are two common causes. Now, I need to distinguish chronic prostatitis from acute prostatitis. Acute prostatitis is a, a real bad prostate infection. Okay. You got fever, you got chills, pain, uh, you're super uncomfortable. Uh, you need to go to the emergency room and get it treated right away because you can go into you know septic shock in some cases. I mean, it's, it, these are real bad infections. Um, and you can, I mean, the, the, the difference is obvious. You know, these people are sick. Uh, you know, tired, muscle aches, a, a real infection, classical infection type symptoms along with the pelvic symptoms. So, you know, I, we got those three. Uh, and, and anything in the urethra, uh, chlamydia, gonorrhea, uh, those can all so, sexually so transmitted all, diseases. All, all, all this is, is curable, right? Yeah. And, and basically, so when you're ejaculating, well, you curable. feel pain? Chronic, prostate, chronic pelvic pain syndrome is, is treatable. 
Okay. It's not, I wouldn't say curable, it's kind of like migraines. Okay. I, I don't know if I've talked about it, my favorite book is called, uh, to describe this, is called Headache in the Pelvis. Okay. Um, it's a good book for men and women, it talks about, and it's a good analogy because it's kind of like headaches, you can't test for it, you, you can't, okay. you know, when someone has a headache or a migraine, yeah. you can't do a CAT scan that says, ah, oh, this is a migraine, right? Yeah. It's based on the symptoms, because yeah. that's what patients often come in and say, well, what do I have? Like, where's the test? W which test could I do? And I'm saying, you don't need to do tests, this is what it is based on the symptoms. Yeah. Um, anyways, and, and like migraines, you sort of treat it, you deal with it, and some, you know, it could be on and off over the years, and that's similar to chronic pelvic pain syndrome. So, but any, sure, of course, any of the infections are, are easily treatable and should be treated uh, quickly. Is it, is it a painful pain? Like the idea is as it's coming out, the, uh, start Some people, pain? as it's coming out, some people after, for like the next 24 hours, they'll have a lot of pelvic symptoms oh. and stuff. So yeah, it could be both. So, it could be a it, so painful the idea is ejaculation. when you feel it, then obviously you should... Yeah, it could be a painful doctor. ejaculation or it could be pain that follows the ejaculation. Okay. A lot of times with these chronic ones, it's something sets it off and you have a couple of bad days, whether it be ejaculation or some people even with certain foods, caffeine, mm -hmm. alcohol, spicy foods, they had a glass, too many glasses of wine and, and for a couple of days they're bad. Uh, so it doesn't have to be... A, we're talking about painful ejaculation today, but it doesn't have to, chronic prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain syndrome can have symptoms other than uh, chronic. Than could, could, it, could it go away alone, Andrew, or is it really? It, it, um, chronic pelvic pain syndrome for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Uh, not everybody has to be treated. And if someone has a mild case, I often say, are you, you know, you got to get, you got to know what they're talking about. Are you bothered by this pain? Yeah. Or are you nervous? I said, because listen, you don't have prostate cancer. Oh, thank God, whatever. I know I don't need to take any medication. I was just panicking I had prostate cancer. So, you know, it doesn't have to be treated like a headache. Do you have to take a Tylenol or an Advil or, or whatever? No, but, you know, it, it, so it's, it's, it's kind of symptom relief. You don't, you don't need to treat it. And, and sometimes with time, it just sort of peters out. And so yeah. that was a good segue. Prostate cancer is... Um, could sometimes cause painful ejaculation. It's it's not common. Uh, most men, the vast majority of men with chronic with uh, prostate cancer, don't have any pain, wow. let alone ejaculation wow. pain or pain when you pee or anything like that. So when I see a guy with a high PSA, the blood test, uh, and I say, look, we need to check further for prostate cancer. They say, but I don't have any symptoms. I know it's normal. Yeah. It's normal not to have symptoms with prostate cancer. That's a scary and part of it. That's a scary part of it. And even if it's late and more advanced prostate cancers, you usually still don't have any symptoms in the prostate. Usually if it goes, it spreads to lymph nodes and to bones. People, the most common symptom of the more advanced stuff is actually bone pain, back pain, stuff like that. So, so yeah, so prostate cancer, I mean, if you're of, of, of the age of risk, anyways, when you come in with this kind of pain, we normally check your prostate anyways, just to be safe. But yeah. if you have painful ejaculation, don't be panicked that you have prostate cancer, but, you know, get it checked out. Um, you know, anybody with pelvic trauma or nerve pain can cause pelvic pain. Anything that can cause pelvic pain can cause painful ejaculation. Um, and uh, and some weird things, if you notice that you have a ejaculation and it's a little bit painful and the liquid doesn't come out and you're having some urinary symptoms, mm. uh, you could have a blockage, a stricture, a, a scar tissue blocking. So these are all the symptoms you got to pay attention to and make sure when you see the doctor that you sort of describe it properly. Most of the reflex when people come in is, ah, here, here's antibiotics for six, yeah, yeah. Uh, six weeks and but uh, you know, dig deeper. If you think it's something other than that, then uh, you know, then uh, you know, get it checked out and be persistent. Go to see another opinion. Or... So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Of Have the balls to talk balls about it. To talk about it, guys. Make sure to subscribe to hit the bell. If you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching, guys.